My name is Sarah Sturman, and I'm presenting Kaleidoscope, a reflective documentation tool for a user interface design course. At University of California, Berkeley, the undergraduate interaction design and HCI course is highly project-based. This is what it usually looks like, with student groups working closely together on physical prototypes, sketches, interviews, and building software. However, in 2020, all of a sudden, our course looked a lot like this, and collaboration dynamics changed. In this research, we sought to support students in this design course while studying the role that documentation tools play in education. We investigated how a novel documentation tool can support students' design process through a remote semester, how it can make student process visible for metacognition and reflection, and how we might scaffold students in trying out expert documentation strategies. The system we designed is Kaleidoscope, a collaborative tool that collects multimedia artifacts from all stages of the design process into team studio spaces and supports creating and submitting assignments, sharing feedback and critique, creating public portfolios, and facilitating group coordination. We developed Kaleidoscope as a research through design artifact and iteratively developed it during the fall semester of 2020 in live use in an undergraduate interaction design course. This resulted in over 3,000 artifacts created by 149 users across the semester. We collected several types of data, including interviews, surveys, reflective assignments, and critiques from students and conversations with course staff. In this talk, we'll focus on a handful of themes and design tensions that arose in our analysis, centered around one key feature of the application, the studio space. We encourage you to check out the paper for a discussion of the rest of the system and results. The studio space is a single team's shared project context. In the design process, teams create many types of artifacts, including photos of physical sketches or prototypes, Figma documents, GitHub commits, text, video, and websites. The studio collects all these traces of the design process in a visual archive, along with detailed annotations, feedback, commentary, and connections between artifacts. One of our key design principles, drawn from prior work and expert practice, was to reveal the history of the project to support awareness of the project's state and of progress made. To do so, we chose to have the default studio view show all the project artifacts at once. Being able to see this collection grow and how artifacts developed over the semester was motivating to students and helped them appreciate their work as a team and their own learning. But students also found this overwhelming, especially in early design iterations of the system where artifacts were tightly visually packed. To address this, we introduced flexible layouts where students could move, resize, and selectively hide artifacts. These layouts made the studio a more customizable space, not only to reduce overwhelm, but also to allow students to use the documentation as a manipulable material in design discussions ideation, and creation of new representations, like portfolios. Layouts could be saved and revisited to allow multiple parallel representations. Another key goal was to support metacognition and reflection by centralizing the project history and making it visible. Students found Kaleidoscope facilitated their thinking process and let them see choices and actions the team had taken. In other tools like Google Drive, students found the design history hard to access and so did not find it supported higher level reflection. However, having a specialized tool resulted in a tension with creating content. Students frequently used Kaleidoscope to leave feedback and critique, but creating an artifact made it a static record of a moment in time, not a living document to be edited. Why create an artifact in Kaleidoscope when you want your teammates to go to Figma and make edits? In retrospect, students wish they had made more intermediate artifacts, but the pressures of the course and the division between tools created resistance in the moment. For groups that did document extensively in Kaleidoscope, they found it extremely helpful for group coordination during the remote semester. Rather than having feedback buried in the logs of various messaging apps and artifacts scattered between Google Drive, Figma, GitHub, or personal devices, Kaleidoscope centralized the project history and supported group coordination and the ability to quickly find older artifacts for reference, inspiration, or reuse. We designed the privacy structure of Kaleidoscope to prioritize this kind of visibility. Artifacts were initially private to group members and instructors, but could be made public to peers or to the general public. 
We initially thought teammates would be willing to share work with each other without issue due to the benefits of visibility. However, many students would only upload artifacts when they felt they were complete and polished, fearing judgment or feeling that the archival nature of Kaleidoscope made the ideas set in stone. This meant that for intermediate artifacts or artifacts the creator perceived as less successful, the history of the process was incomplete, which compromised future reflection. To wrap up, from these and other themes, we discuss several design takeaways for documentation systems to support student learning and remote collaboration. Kaleidoscope created a concrete medium for explicit and opportunistic reflection on design process, which is often abstract and hidden. When students used Kaleidoscope in design activities like feedback discussions or inspiration, they had opportunities for momentary opportunistic reflection on process, in addition to the more formal reflective assignments. The Kaleidoscope interface could be overwhelming and force unwanted switching between focusing on creation and documentation. One future vision for documentation tools might be to integrate them with an ecosystem of creation tools to help users document more frequently and easily without interrupting their work and to shift curation labor to moments of explicit reflection. While we successfully integrated some techniques from expert practice, such as using ambient histories to support inspiration and awareness of progress, we also found significant differences between the intrinsic and extrinsic motivators present in a course context and expert practice. While students in retrospect wish they had documented more, the motivators during the course created pressure against this. A tool cannot solve these issues alone. We must also consider course design and learning goals that emphasize the value of documentation and reflection in a holistic way. Kaleidoscope is an exploration of a design documentation tool for remote collaboration and reflection. Its design decisions draw from observations of expert practice in design education to both explicitly support student design work and to foreground reflection on process as a key learning goal for design education. Creating a centralized artifact history made design decisions, methods, and strategies visible, enhancing reflection and making past process manipulable as a material for design.